Welcome to Finnovate Asia, and uh, it's great to be here in Singapore today. Uh, my name's Paul Bridgewater. I'm Senior Vice President of uh, Product and Innovation at TSIS, and this is my colleague, Chris Colson, who heads up our innovation program. So 41 million times a day, we touch people's lives by processing their transactions on credit and debit cards. And this is critical for us, and we do this at around about, on, on around about 500 million accounts on a global basis. So we've, innovation for us is critically important, and we've been really busy over the last 12 months, and we've been working on some interesting innovations that we've presented at Finnovate already this year. One is commercial car controls, and another one is a really uh, uh, interesting product that enables issuers to instantly reissue emergency cards uh, to uh, cardholders in the U.S., uh, today, we're here to present to you uh, TSIS authorization controls. Chris, take it away. All right. Thank you, Paul. So when we travel, we make the most of it. And one way that we're able to do that is, is to actually control the parameters on our card itself. So making sure that our cards are on when we want them to be on, so we're not declined at the point of sale, and also that they're off when we want them off so we can protect ourselves against fraud. So like most travelers, typically the first thing you do when you land is that you'll turn on your mobile device and you'll log in to check your messages, et cetera. And what happens before you travel? Typically, you have to call your bank and let them know where you are. Well, we're going to reverse that, again, putting the controls back into the cardholder's hands. So in this instance, I just logged in, and I get an alert from my bank. And what's it asking me? Am I traveling? And yes, I am. So again, making sure that my card works when I want it to. So it's asking me if I'm traveling. Would I like to go in and adjust some settings? So I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to put in my bank PIN number to verify that I am Chris Colson. And the first thing comes up, authorization controls. This gives me the ability to turn them on and off. And the most important thing here is to set my geofence. So as you can see, I currently have it set at a 25-mile radius. The options here include the ability to put it at block, city, zip code, state, or country. Being new to Singapore, I want to make sure I can use my card everywhere. So I'm going to select the country. Now you'll see on the map that in fact, anywhere I want to use my car within Singapore, it will work. If somebody tries to complete or initiate a transaction outside of Singapore, it'll be declined. So some of the other features that we built in to make it easier for car holders are shopping categories. So let's take a look. By default, I have business, phone, airfare, and lodging set. So if I use my card for any of these, I'll get approved. I know I'm going to dinner tonight with Paul, so I want to make sure that I turn on dining. This way, when the bill comes, Paul can give it to me, I can pay, and I make sure that I'm not declined. Some of the other features that we've built in, you'll see at the top there is card status, on and off. This gives me the ability to turn my card, just as it says, on or off. If I have it off and lose my wallet, nobody can use it. More importantly, if I misplace my wallet and I'm in a panic, I can quickly go to my app slide it to off until I find my wallet. This way I don't have to call the bank, cancel my cards, wait one to five days for the card to arrive in the mail. So again, instantly allowing me to turn the card on or off. More importantly, if I, from Monday through Friday, wake up at 7 a.m. and go to bed at 10, I can set the same parameters to say, I only want my cards activated between Monday and Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. After that, don't authorize anything. You'll see there, there's a picture of the credit card. On the front, it has my account information. On the back, when people want to use a mobile wallet, let's say, they can't have access to the three-digit code, so we've built that in. So let's click on it. I'll put in my PIN to verify, again, that I am who I say I am, and my three digits appear. So putting control back into the card holder is very important to us. And again, I'm going to set my card to, oh, what just happened? I got a decline. Uh, it looked like something came up um, that was related to something that I wanted to do tonight. Let me go back and take a look. And I've turned my card status back on so that I can use it anywhere that I need to. And I was right. I got an authorization decline. Uh, I had asked my secretary to make sure that she had bought some tickets for me so that I could attend this. I was told this is something you must do while in Singapore. So you notice here, it tells me specifically that I have not selected that shopping category. That's the reason for the decline. So I have three options. I can dismiss it. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I'm not supposed to be doing this. So no worries. Don't try it again. The second one is let me adjust the rules the way that I see real time so I can get approved. And the third one is this is fraud. So when I select that, it sends a different status alert to the bank notifying them to call me so they understand 
what I'm looking for, what my need is. I have fraudulent transactions, so they're going to handle me differently. So I'm going to go into the rules. I can see that entertainment has not been selected. If I look at my account activity, in fact, it had been declined. Let me go back to categories here. Let me select entertainment. My assistant's asking me what does she want me to do, so I'll ask her, try again, please. Send her a message. See what the response is. You can see my category for entertainment is on. And it's worked. I'm all set to go, so now we can go to the Singapore Flyer tonight. Let me just check in my activity, and in fact, it is now pending. It's no longer in a decline status. Great job, Chris. So, uh, you know, I, I, we think that the, uh, the functionality specifically around the ability to turn the card on and off is really simple. So, you know, you can imagine that if your card's in your wallet, it's switched off. Nobody can use it. No transactions can be authorized. And that's controlled by us back at TSIS on our technology. And as soon as I want to use my card, I switch it back on. I present the card. It gets authorized. I put it back in my wallet, and I can switch it back off, which effectively uh, uh, can be a great uh, elimination of fraud. Um, so I'm certainly looking forward to going out onto the, uh, the Singapore flyer tonight with you, Chris. As am I. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So if you want to put uh, your cardholders in control of their uh, accounts, then you need uh, TSIS authorization controls for your uh, card programs. Uh, come and see us at our booth. Uh, we can show you a little bit more about the, uh, the, the technology that we're using and the products that we're deploying. And uh, that's People Center Payments. Thank you.